Everyone that sprayed polyureas so far, have you ever experienced any fingering in your spray pattern? Patterns sort of go already. Fingers, lines, streaks, heavy spots in some areas, not enough to material the side of another. Some of the things that may be causing that could be due to low processing heat, low processing temperatures. Maybe our, we're pushing, maybe our output of our gun is exceeding the output of our proportioner. Now we're moving the material through our, through our, our heaters at such a rapid rate, we're not getting to, to that maximum delta T so that our material is at our proper processing temperature could be due to low processing pressure. Again, could be due to where, bless you, could be due to where output of our gun is exceeding the output of our, of our proportioners. There again, we're losing our pressure on our dynamic side. And again here, same scenarios, incorrect gun setup. <coughs> Uh, yes. What does finger mean? Finger, you, you, you especially you'll see it more inside of a flat tip where you have a nice even spray. Uh, when you have fingers inside the spray pattern, you have lines in the spray. You have areas of heavy and you have areas that there's maybe very little to none coating and you're just spraying with just lines. It's just called in the industry fingering fingering in the inside of the pattern and you'll see it with a round pattern that round pattern is you know is it's nice a nice round pattern but you'll see it you'll have fingers you'll have lots of of lines inside of that circumference of that round pattern or maybe maybe your pattern is not truly round it may be sort of c shape or oval oval shape and that's normally due to a dirty spray teal So we have that spray pattern deformation, dirty spray till, could be due to some obstructed mix chamber. Remember, if we have a obstructed mix, uh, a obstructed mix chamber, where would we see that at? You also see it on your pressure gauges. How do we make pressure? By restriction. If we have a obstructed port in our mix chamber is going to be partially restricted so that part that side that is obstructed will be running at a higher pressure than the other side now we'll be getting into some of those scenarios right here shortly uh, spray pattern pulsing this is where you're holding the gun down and you're in your pattern is is pulsating you have good pressure low pressure good pressure low pressure here we could be exceeding our output of our proportioner with our gun. Could be the viscosity of the supply material. Yeah. It all could also be due to one of your check balls in the proportioning pump is stuck. Could be stuck open. And now you're only moving material on one stroke. Remember, the pumps is designed to move material to the gun on the field stroke and on the discharge stroke. So if one of those check balls becomes dirty, maybe gets a piece of crystallized ISO, which is most time our problematic, problematic areas is going to be up on their A side of the equipment, most times because of its moisture sensitivity that check ball becomes stuck open then when it goes on one of the other strokes it's not able to maintain pressure and push that material to the gun so it has a, a momentary lapse of material flow to the gun which will will result in that pulsating spray pattern so, uh, iso spit or a spit at the gun on detriggering incorrect valving rod adjustment can happen maybe we have a worn mixed module and other internal components 
could be due to low air supply to the gun, causing the gun to not fully, uh, fully trigger the valving rod back. It would cause a sluggish trigger. Remember, which on this gun here, which orifice is going to be exposed first? The A side. So if it's a sluggish trigger, if it's a sluggish reaction, that A side port is going to be open longer. It's going to, it's going to be open longer before the B side is exposed. And also on the mechanical purge fusion gun, if we're running the gun without the clean out air on, you will see that ISO spill. And we'll see that today. Just a quick demonstration of the clean out air on oh, this gun right here. Get a little bit of air on. So here I can I can trigger, you go ahead and make sure I got this just correctly from yesterday. Let me get out to the shop. I want to make sure that my gun doesn't Make sure it performs like it's supposed to. Well, I did move the valving rod yesterday there at the end of the class. Just want to make sure that everything's correct. So I can I can trigger my gun on and off. So we have no air coming out of the front of this gun. So now I want to make sure I have clean out air on, and this air is blowing right. It's not coming out of the tip, it's coming around this orifice of the air cap. This hole is coming out from around there, blowing across the front face of this kill. And the amount of air may vary. I think it's like a good flow of air coming out of the front face of this gun. I'm trying to keep the front face of that kill as clean as possible. But as I'm triggered, I'm afraid I've still got air coming out from around the tip. Then does that help with the spray pattern or not? Uh, not so much. I mean, it's mainly the purpose is to keep the front face of that tip clean. It's just really using aerodynamics trying to keep the coating from swirling back and getting onto the front face of that tip. And if you if you start spraying with the clean out air off, you will notice it's going to booger up the front of this gun pretty quickly. 